Well, we've got a first for you tonight in our ongoing series, Breaking Bond. This really is just so astonishing. So there's a 25 year old capital murder suspect free from jail tonight on four bonds totaling more than a million dollars. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from downtown with this story. How many of you have the financial ability to post bonds totaling $1,200,000? I sure don't, but I know of a 25 year old ex con who does? In 2013 through 2017, 25 year old Kevin James Brantley III is in prison. And in 2017, he gets charged with capital murder, the most egregious charge and offense that you can have. Brantley had just got out of prison when police say he shot and killed 43 year old Calvin Freeman during a robbery at 4805 Lyons. Freeman was shot multiple times while trying to run away. Even though judges can deny bond to capital murder suspects, 209th Criminal District Court Judge Brian Warren set Brantley's bond at just $150,000. After picking up a new felony charge of felon in possession of a weapon, Brantley spent 60 days in jail. But then Judge Brian Warren reinstated his bond. But they gave him an astronomically high bond, $750,000. Not only is Brantley able to post the $750,000 bond for the capital murder charge, he posts an additional $450,000 in bonds for two charges of aggravated robbery and one charge of felon in possession of a weapon. Randy, I've been doing this over 30 years. I have never seen someone actually get out on a bond for over a million dollars until today. I've been in the bail bond in business for just about 30 years here in Harris County. Houston City Council member Michael Kuba says during his career as a bondsman, he never posted one for a million dollars. If the bondsman feels like that he's got good collateral and, and if he's got good co-signers and, and the risk is low, he, he may take less than 10%. It's common knowledge at the courthouse that some bond companies will accept 5% of the bond amount and even less. They're just letting them out without any supervision or oversight, and therein lies the problem. It's inevitable based on his track record, based on his criminal history, based on his propensity to commit violent acts. Someone's going to pay the price for this. I, of course, contacted Judge Brian Warren's court, heard nothing back. Maybe one day a district court judge will actually go on camera and explain why releasing repeat violent offenders on multiple bonds is a good thing. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.